Another deadly carjacking in Philadelphia last night. The family of a 60-year-old man says he was senselessly gunned down while visiting his mother. Kelly Rule is live at the Roundhouse with the latest. Kelly? Shana, senseless does not even begin to describe this. George Brisella was simply in his mom's own driveway at the time of this horrific crime. Loved ones tell me he was a husband, a father of four, a grandfather of six with a seventh on the way. They are devastated. This man was loved by the community of Northeast Philadelphia. It didn't take long for us to learn that about 60 year old George Brisella, which is why his family can't understand why someone would rip his life away. He had just a giant heart and that's that's that, that's that's, just, that's the thing that kills us is the fact that he's the guy that would he would have given them a ride if they needed a ride. Priscilla's oldest son tells us the husband, father of four sons and grandfather of six with the seventh on the way was simply visiting his mom at her home in Ronhurst just after 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Philadelphia police say video surveillance shows he was walking towards a 2020 Toyota RAV4 in her driveway behind the home on Afton Street, and about a minute later, it shows three men walking in the same direction. Within another minute, police say three shots were fired from an AR-15 style rifle, one striking and killing Brisella, and the RAV4 quickly speeds off towards Large Street. This definitely appears to have been a crime of opportunity. Police say it's possible the three men could be linked to other previous carjackings. They are investigating a pattern of carjackings involving Toyota RAV4s in the 12th district. And somebody decided to take his car and decide to shoot him. Total disregard for human life. Absolutely. A great human life. Family members say Brasilla was a Marine Corps veteran and son of a Philadelphia police officer. We're going to be okay at the end of the day because that's what he wants. But this didn't need to happen in a city that we all grew up in and we loved and it continues to deteriorate. The Philadelphia police say that RAV4 had a temporary PA tag 51467PD. They have not recovered the vehicle or identified the three men. They say that video really does not provide a clear description. So anybody with additional video or information, Jason is asked to come forward right away. Another absolutely heartbreaking case. No doubt about it. Kelly Rule at the Roundhouse. Thank you, Kelly.